Did Nikola Tesla, the man who harnessed lightning, also receive signals from extraterrestrial life? This tantalizing question introduces us to the enigmatic world of Nikola Tesla, an inventor who was nothing short of brilliant. His mind was a cauldron of innovation, often churning out ideas that were way ahead of his time. One cannot talk about Tesla without mentioning his groundbreaking work with alternating current, or AC, which revolutionized the way we use electricity. And then there's the Tesla coil, a high-frequency transformer that's still used in radio technology today. Tesla's fascination with radio waves even led him to experiment with transmitting signals long before the advent of modern communication. But for all his genius, Tesla's life was shrouded in mystery. From rumored contact with extraterrestrial beings to lost inventions that could have changed the world, there's so much about this man that we still don't know. As we delve into the mysteries surrounding Tesla's life remember the truth is often stranger than fiction. Tesla, the genius that lit up the world, was born in a lightning storm. Coincidence or a premonition? On a stormy night in 1856, amidst the flashes of lightning and the rumble of thunder, a brilliant mind was born in a small village in modern-day Croatia. Young Nikola Tesla exhibited an early interest in mechanical and electrical inventions, a fascination that would later shape the world. From an early age, Tesla demonstrated a remarkable capability, a photographic memory. He could visualize intricate devices and experiments in his mind's eye, down to the minutest detail. This extraordinary ability enabled him to construct and test his inventions mentally, before bringing them into the physical world. Yet as much as these early years shaped the genius that was Tesla, they also birthed several mysteries. Why was he so fascinated with electricity? How did he develop such an extraordinary mind? A prodigy no doubt, but his genius was not without its own set of riddles. Did you know Tesla had an aversion to pearls and a penchant for the number three? Indeed, the man was as much an enigma in his personal life as he was in his work. Obsessions and quirks were as much a part of Tesla as his groundbreaking inventions. Let's delve into some of these peculiarities. The inventor's germophobia was well known. He would use 18 napkins to wipe his dining room before every meal. Yes, 18, a multiple of three. In fact, he had a strange affinity for doing things in threes. Whether it was walking around a block three times before entering a building or requiring his hotel room number to be divisible by three, the number seemed to hold a special significance for him. Tesla's diet too was peculiar. He was a strict vegetarian, subsisting primarily on a diet of milk, honey, bread, and vegetable juices. He believed this regimen enhanced his brain power. These quirks, though puzzling, pale in comparison to the mysteries of his inventions. What would have happened if Tesla's dream of the Warden Cliff Tower had been realized? Imagine a world with no power lines, no charging cables, and no need for batteries. This was the grand vision of Nikola Tesla with his ambitious project, the Warden Cliff Tower. Conceived at the dawn of the 20th century, this towering structure on Long Island was intended to be the cornerstone of Tesla's world wireless system, a revolutionary concept that sought to transmit both communications and electricity across the globe without the need for wires. Tesla's dream was to harness the Earth's natural frequencies and use them to broadcast power. The Wardenclyffe Tower, with its 70-foot copper dome and a shaft burrowing nearly 200 feet into the Earth's crust, was his conduit to achieve this. It was a design far ahead of its time, a testament to Tesla's genius and his vision for a world empowered by wireless technology. But the grandeur of Tesla's vision was not enough to keep the project afloat. It was a costly endeavor, and the financing required was immense. Despite initial backing from influential figures like JP Morgan, the funds eventually dried up. The project was left incomplete, and the tower, Tesla's dream, was eventually dismantled in 1917 to pay off his debts. The demise of the Wardenclyffe Tower left us with a tantalizing question. Could it have worked? Could we have lived in a world powered wirelessly, as Tesla envisioned? We may never know for sure. The tower's blueprints were lost, and no one has been able to replicate Tesla's design with any degree of success. What we do know is that Tesla's vision for wireless technology was not wholly misguided. Today we see glimmers of his dream in our Wi-Fi networks and wireless charging pads. But a world powered wirelessly, on a global scale as Tesla imagined, remains elusive. A world powered wirelessly, a dream that faded with the Wardenclyffe Tower. Did Tesla invent a deadly death ray as he claimed? Now this is where things start to sound like they're straight out of a sci-fi novel. Nikola Tesla, the man known for his revolutionary contributions to the field of electricity and magnetism, once claimed to have invented a particle beam weapon. 
This wasn't just any weapon though, it was a death ray that could supposedly annihilate an entire army. Tesla's death ray was rumored to be a kind of directed energy weapon, a concept which even in our modern day holds a certain allure. The idea was that a focused beam of particles could be shot at high speed, causing destruction on a massive scale. Tesla claimed that his death ray could bring down a fleet of 10,000 enemy airplanes at a distance of 250 miles. The question that baffles us though is, did such a weapon ever exist? The evidence, or rather, the lack of it is puzzling. Despite Tesla's public proclamations, no physical proof of the death ray has ever been found. No blueprints, no prototypes, nothing. And so, theories abound. Some speculate that Tesla's claims were nothing more than a bluff, an attempt to secure funding or perhaps to deter warring nations with the threat of a superweapon. Others reckon that the death ray was real but its secrets died with Tesla, or were perhaps seized and hidden away by government agencies. Then there are those who believe in a more outlandish theory. They suggest that Tesla's death ray wasn't a weapon at all, but a tool for transmitting power wirelessly over long distances. The destructive capabilities they say were merely a misinterpretation or an exaggeration. But despite all the speculation, the truth about Tesla's death ray remains shrouded in mystery. Was it a figment of Tesla's imagination, a grandiose invention that never saw the light of day? Or was it a real device, its potential so terrifying that it was hidden from the world? A weapon of mass destruction or a bluff, the death ray remains one of Tesla's greatest enigmas. What secrets lay hidden in Tesla's missing documents? As we delve deeper into the mystery of Nikola Tesla's life, we stumble upon the enigma of his missing documents. After Tesla's death, numerous trunks brimming with his documents and inventions mysteriously disappeared. From complex blueprints to revolutionary ideas these documents held invaluable insights into Tesla's brilliant mind. But where did they go? Theories abound. Some speculate that the government, intrigued by Tesla's groundbreaking work, seized these documents. Others suggest that they were stolen by competitors or lost in the chaos following Tesla's demise. Could we have missed out on potentially transformative inventions? Could there have been blueprints for devices far ahead of their time? Concepts that could have revolutionized our understanding of energy and physics? We can only speculate. The mystery of Tesla's missing documents is a tantalizing puzzle, a glimpse into the mind of a man who was always a few steps ahead of his time. Lost to time or hidden away, Tesla's missing documents continue to intrigue us. So, who really was Nikola Tesla? A mad scientist or a misunderstood genius? As we retrace the steps of this enigmatic figure we can't help but be drawn into the vortex of mysteries surrounding his life. The enigma of Tesla's early years, shrouded in obscurity, leaves us questioning the roots of his genius. Was it nature or nurture that carved the path for this extraordinary inventor? Then there are his eccentricities. Tesla's fascination with the number three, his nocturnal lifestyle and his aversion to pearls have become the stuff of legends. Were these quirks merely a byproduct of an eccentric mind? or did they hold a deeper significance in his scientific pursuits? The mystery deepens with the lost Wardenclyffe Tower. This ambitious project intended to transmit free energy around the world was abruptly abandoned. Was it due to financial constraints or was there something more sinister at play? And let's not forget the infamous death ray. Tesla claimed to have invented a superweapon that could end all wars, yet no evidence of this device has ever been found. Was this a bluff, or did Tesla genuinely hold the key to such devastating power? Lastly, the curious case of the missing documents. After Tesla's death, thousands of his papers were seized by the US government and many remain classified to this day. What secrets might these hidden documents reveal about Tesla's inventions and theories? The enduring fascination with Tesla's life and inventions is a testament to his impact on our world. His innovative spirit and relentless pursuit of knowledge continue to inspire scientists and inventors today. Yet, despite our best efforts to unravel his mysteries, Tesla remains as elusive as ever. Tesla's life is a puzzle, a jigsaw of enigmas and unanswered questions. Each piece we uncover only adds to the complexity of the picture. Tesla continues to baffle and inspire us, an enigma wrapped in the mystery of his own making.